Good morning, friends. Welcome to a little week in the life. Today is a Monday. I have to go to work. Um, did not sleep very well last night from Amelia. Um, my last vlog, I said she kind of had a cold, and I don't, I don't know, I don't know what's that. But anyway, we're going to work. I work at 12 today. She has daycare today as well. Um, so. Yeah, I'm just heating up a breakfast sandwich and I have some coffee and water and yeah, I will probably just chat with you when I get home, uh, but welcome to the vlog. Good morning, friends. Um, it is Tuesday morning. It is actually like 7.30 right now. Um, I have a work meeting virtually um, from 8 to 10. Um, so, Amelia is still sleeping. Alex is actually still sleeping. His alarm probably is going to go up shortly um but i'm eating breakfast i have a bagel and some strawberries um so yeah it's for like a breastfeeding group that i'm a part of through work um so yeah it's the first meeting of the year which is exciting um and my goal is that amelia will like sleep till nine which is usually when she sleeps till and then when she wakes up i'll like feed her and stuff but yeah, um, I did not vlog yesterday after work, but work was insane. <laughs> um, one of the busiest shifts I've had in a while. I was orienting someone, um, and it was their first day on postpartum, but they are, like, labor and postpartum shared, so they do both floors, so they've already had a year of experience on labor, and I'm so thankful for that because if they were, like, a brand new to postpartum or a brand new nurse or anything like that, I would have just like literally been like, okay, you stand there. Cause they were actually able to like help out with some of the stuff that was going on. And like, we were able to split up the tasks, which if in the future, when if you're ever training someone, you should not have a double assignment or like a harder assignment because you're training someone and there's two people. Like that's just not fair. And I don't think it was there intentionally. Our admission that we had ended up being a little rough um, and that was not predictable, so. Yeah, but I'm gonna finish eating. Um, I need to hand pump real quick because Amelia only woke up one time. One time to eat last night. Um, she woke up another time and was just fussy, but I rocked her back to sleep like immediately. Um, and my boobs are full. So um, yeah, I'm gonna eat and I will probably chat with you guys after the meeting. Hi guys, okay, so my meeting is done and Alex uh, found out he doesn't have to work until noon today. Um, and Alex found out he doesn't have to work till noon today. So, we are going to the grocery store real quick. And then I'm also gonna stop at Target because I have two returns to make. Um, so we're gonna make this nice and speedy. I need to get some Aquaphor for Amelia's like chin and chest too because she is drooling up a storm and getting a little rash from it so let's go to the grocery store done grocery shopping i did have time to make the quick trip at starbucks and i have like a million starbucks gift cards so i got a vanilla latte because this is literally the only time that i go to starbucks is when i go to target so we are gonna head home and amelia will be due to eat shortly so just woke up from her nap we are still in the process of trying to get naps to be in her crib she lasted for like she technically took like a 30 minute nap to start i put her in her crib at like the 20 minute mark and she slept there for like another 10 minutes and i actually saw her like wake up a little bit and fall back asleep but then she woke up 
crying and I think that she had some like gas because I picked her up and she burped and then she fell like right back asleep. Um, obviously I was holding her. I was holding her for the rest of the nap but she napped for like an hour and a half total. I was able to watch some of The Bachelor which premiered yesterday. Um, but I have laundry going. Um, laundry is like an endless thing in this house. Um, I feel like I'm doing every day. Every day off I have, I'm doing laundry. But I wanted to say, little lady is close to being able to roll over. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I am. Um, she can like roll to her, so I had her like laying like this. She can roll to her side and she like kicks her legs up too. So how she gets here, I finally figured out is she does that and then she hooks her legs around the blue arch thing and she like falls over but she's close are you close to rolling yeah anyway it is like 2 15 ish now um she's due to eat so i'll feed her and then i've got to start throwing out some chicken for dinner i think i think that's the next step oh and i have to edit a video for tomorrow <laughs> Okay, do you guys remember how I was literally saying that she is so close to rolling over? Well, I was sitting here, I was letting her play, and my goal was for her to roll over because she's rolled the best on here. I think it's because it's like a little bit slippery. But I was watching the Bachelor preview and trying to like make a bracket or whatever, and I saw her out of the corner of my eye like rolling. And then I was like, oh my gosh. And she always gets stuck with like this arm under there, but she got it out. And then I set up my camera or my phone to try and get a video of it. And she did it! So I'm gonna put that right here. <laughs> I got it! I got it! He goes, oh my gosh. And now we're eating our hands. Delicious. She knows how to roll back, but I don't think she like hates it. So, well, yeah, but you guys, she knows how to roll over now. Oh my goodness. She's getting so big. It's bath time. five o'clock um i got home from work picked this little lady up from daycare and now we are <laughs> getting some some cuddles going on mm -hmm. um good morning friends excuse the towel on my head i just took a shower um, little lady let me take a shower while she hung out in there. Just heating up a microwave breakfast sandwich because I got to food this little girl. Um, but it's Friday now. I have the day off. I worked yesterday. Um, I have some friends from work coming over tonight after they're done working. A few of them work today. And we're gonna have like a game night situation. But our house is a complete and utter disaster and it's because I worked Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And yeah, I did have off Tuesday, but I had other stuff to do Tuesday. Anyway, it's a disaster. So we need to clean. I also need to film my, 
I also need to film my February budget video today. So that'll actually be the video that goes up before this because those are easier to edit for me. So that'll be up before this one. But um, yeah, that is it right now. I'm gonna eat breakfast and feed the baby and then we'll start cleaning. Look at her little outfit. Look at you, little Valentine. <gasps> yeah. Little Valentine. She's unimpressed. Little Valentine, little Valentine, little Valentine. All right, guys. So, Amelia is hanging out here, playing on the floor. I am going to start cleaning up the kitchen. That's honestly, like, the messiest part. Um, so... Let's do it. She is just, we got this like, there's way more to it, but we got this like foam pad. We have like a lot of squares. This is just two squares together. But she loves her little kicky thing, but this is where she's started rolling. So I think there's like kind of restricted here. Like she can't move too far. But she loves just hanging out here. And if she wants to flip to her belly, she can. And if she throws up, it's a lot easier to clean up. Is it a lot easier to clean up? You guys, I swear sometimes the day just like flies by and just escapes me. Um, it's two o'clock now. Um, I did clean up. I didn't finish the time lapse because it was getting long and I ran out of memory and I was like, I'm just gonna finish real quick. Um, I still have to clean off the counters, like wash them actually, but we've made some progress. We actually have counter space now, which is exciting. I have to clean that up, that's my lunch mess, but we got counter space. We don't have any more dishes in our sink. Uh, this will all get put away, but it'll all just make a mess again eventually, but it's fine. I need to put away, freeze all the milk that I pumped yesterday. Um, that's kind of like been my routine with milk is from like a two, for like two weeks, basically after I have the weekend off. After I have my weekend off, Monday starts with frozen milk and then... The next two weeks, I just use what I pumped previously at work because the longest stretch I have off is like a day or two. Um, and then once I have my weekend off, I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. So those three days are like enough that like the milk that I pumped on Thursday is like technically still good for Monday. But in order to utilize my freezer stash that I have and like go through that and cycle through that i freeze everything on friday after i worked the thursday so we'll do that real quick um we'll check on amelia <laughs> hanging out here just chilling <laughs> so let's freeze some milk headed to the grocery store real quick what's going on here um just to grab a few pizzas for tonight for people coming over 
little miss is ready to go. She is wearing a size six to nine month outfit. But you look cute. You ready? <laughs>